If you don't know who Bally Baby is, you're about to. And you need to understand the influence that she had on today's rap culture when it comes to female trap rap. Bally is a female MC based out of Atlanta, Georgia. Her career as a rapper began in 2016 when she dropped her first single, Designer. Even though she's an ATL rapper, she attracted a growing audience in the DMV when she collaborated with known DMV artist Big Flock in 2016. Shit, I ain't know what the fuck his name was either. His name on my phone was Liddy Mo. Because he just kept saying Mo. Mo. I never heard nobody no, saying, talk like Big that. Big Flock. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. you talking about Big Flock? Oh. And this thing was Mo, Mo, Kid Mo. <laughs> he was like, who the fuck is Mo? Mo? So I was like, this nigga lit. So I put Liddy Mo. And that was his name on my fucking phone for the longest. And then when we came up here, we was in the studio. I was like, oh, you Liddy Mo. And then that's why I found his name was Big Flock. And this nigga's like a fucking rapper out here. And I'm like, yeah. why? Let me do the song. <laughs> and that shit was lit as fuck. Like, that song came out so by. Like, oh and then we God. shot the video right then and there. Mm -hmm. In the studio. Hell yeah. yeah. Hey. You ain't never seen the song? And then they just dropped the uh, video the next day. Recorded, shot the video, and dropped it all in 24 hours. Damn. Yes, niggas yeah. was working fast. Because we was in the studio at one in the morning. I, niggas <laughs> was working fast as That's fuck. Right. Diligent as fuck. Yeah. If you can remember, around this time, a lot of people from the DMV assumed Bally was a DMV native because she was so heavily liked and respected in the DMV area. It was her hair, her unique city type style, her distinct sound, and her confidence that really won the DMV over. And the DMV won Bally over as well. When I really fell in love with the DMV, I'm like, damn, these niggas are. Like, I'm like, these niggas is persistent. Like, I like oh, yeah. this. We just don't get yes. support like that. That's all. No, it's all funny. Like, y'all support y'all. Y'all blow y'all self up so big in the DMV. Y'all are supportive, but not supportive enough to push it, like, out of the state. Like, y'all yeah, supportive niggas as fuck. That's why, that's why niggas be famous as fuck. Like, famous as fuck out here. Show the talent. DMV has so much talent. When I be playing out in Atlanta, niggas be in love. Like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> if you were 16 to early 20s in the DMV around this time, more than likely you was bumping Bally Baby. Just like within the mainstream music industry, the rappers dominating and really popping in the DMV were mostly male MCs. Even though Bally rapped about violence, drugs, and gang culture, females really gravitated to her because she was one of the only DMV female artists really out here making moves. Gang, gang, gang. Absolutely. Gang. Oh. 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 that monkey bitch wanna be. We are not friends, little bitch. I just watch it change. My chopper say. Didn't know you before, then you are not gang. Gun in a clip of that monkey bitch wanna be. In 2016, DMV rap group Thrax Gang dropped Iggity, which is arguably considered a DMV classic with over 1 million views to this date. Bally Baby then dropped a cover to Iggity that gained a lot of traction. And at this point, Bally was popping in the DMV. Fans wanted more and more of her music. She then came out with an Iggity remix with an up and coming artist by the name of Taco Bella, AKA Rico Nasty. And in my opinion, it was Rico's verse that captivated the remix and made the song just as big as the original. Know these little bitches envy me. When you see me in person, just keep the same energy. Damn, must be kidding me. They finessed you again. You about sweet as some kiggity. Your boyfriend keep missing me. Said that he want this pussy cause my shit's So like suffer. finally, us in the DMV had a variety of female MCs to listen to. So now people wanted to know who is this other girl on the song? Fans put a face to Taco Bella when she started to make consistent cameos in Bally's productions. It seems to the public as if Bally Baby and Taco Bella were besties. They both dressed similar, had similar flows, similar mannerisms, and peppy attitudes. At this time, Bally really supported Rico and promoted her music heavy. Hey, I'm dirty stick. Ooh. Shit you like a movie, bitch, yeah. Ooh. And I ain't with that goofy shit, yeah. Ooh. I consider my type of rap sugar trap. 
like my bitch Rico Nasty. Y'all haven't heard. She made that up. Yeah, she could trap. That's what I consider what I rap. At this time, Rico started to reach the same level of success as Bally Baby, if not greater, and became just as known in the DMV. Towards the end of 2016, fans noticed a shift in Rico and Bally's friendship. Some say Rico used Bally and her likeness to get to where she wanted to be in music. Some say Bally started to feel as if Rico wasn't appreciative for basically putting her on. We the public never really got a solid answer as to why the duo stopped fucking with each other. It was basic female beef, broken girl code, feelings of another one moving funny style, and maybe some hidden animosity. The fallout became ugly when Bally went to jail and she fell the type of way and they just started doing interviews about each other and everything just went haywire. And you and Rico were friends. You guys have songs out and everything. How do you feel about the fallout? <laughs> All I got to say about that, the song Enemies, I just have them three girls because, I don't know, I love to make bitches mad, like, I just be sitting in my room laughing, like, rubbing my hands like Birdman, like, oh, that's hurt. Over the little shit I do, like, I bear, I dropped a snippet on my fucking Insta snap, and this bitch went and tweeted about me for seven hours, like, damn, why didn't I drop a song? They let me get under their skin, like, and I like to get under your skin if you let me. I knew, I been knew Rico was a snake, bruh. Before I even went to jail, I was telling the playgirls, like, bruh, something not right. Like, Rico acted funny. Like, she wasn't trying to send ads. Like, she wasn't trying to hang out with us no more. She wasn't answer my calls, my texts. When I got out of jail, she, like, FaceTimed me, like, oh, I ain't dropped my life with a rock star tape because you were locked up and blah, 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 blah. And I do get it. I see bitches do it all the time. They, like, envy. But they still want to be in your face and shit like that because they don't want to be enemies with you. New. And then I, unf I unfollow her on Twitter. Like, I unfollow her first because I like the fuck. Like, we not even really friends. Like, you fake kicking and she subtweeting me on Twitter and her songs and shit. Like, I'm like, you ain't got to fake kick it. Like, I'm not about to fake kick it with nobody. I'm not then after me and Asian Doll fight, she ain't tweeting her on Twitter and shit. Like, okay, bitch. Like, I don't even want to, like. You feel me? I was just going to end the relationship. Like, I ain't even want no beef or nothing like that. Just for the fact that, like, I'm not envious. Like, I don't really care to beef with you. Like, we just want to be friends. And then I see that shit, like, you lame as hell because she was goddamn beefing with Asian Doll with me when we was all beefing. Like, I don't hear nothing. And then she talking all this shit, like, are you even gay? So I was like, bitch was balling me to shoot up a bitch's house when she got into a fight with her. I don't even matter, like. Bally baby, but everybody been begging me. At the beginning, I used to see you and Bally baby. She used to come to, you know, come to my, come, come to where? To the DMV, right? Yeah, where I'm from. Um, the thing but it seems though lately, I haven't been seeing, you know. The thing with Bally is, she's really like an internet personality. Like, she's not a real person. Um, she's a liar. She's like a pathological liar. Like, I went to Atlanta for a show. There was no BM truck. There was no mansion. There was none of that. So I just felt like I wasn't really getting to know who she really was. And I don't like when people do that because I was letting her get to know me. And I thought we was cool. But, you know, once I seen that little weird shit and then, you know, her just being too friendly with the, with the male rappers where I'm from, like, we look down on that. Like, you're not about to be fucking with these niggas and then... That's not what rap bitches do. Like, if you in that rap shit, you don't, you're not fucking no rappers. Like, you need to get your checks up, make songs with her. But she's focused on other shit. She, she values clout more than she does money. Yeah. And I just, it makes me, like, feel weird. Like, oh, I don't like that shit. It's yeah. It, I mean, it seems, though, and to be fair, like, y'all both kind of had that, you know. If no. Y y y we both didn't have that kind of nothing. Um, I started rapping. I came out with Sugar Trap. She's not on Sugar Trap. Mm. She came on your channel, took them out, shout out me, then tried to take her word back and say that she invented the shit. Like, the bitch don't know what the fuck she want to do. Like, she don't know what the fuck she want to do. She don't know how she want to rap. One minute she's this brazy bitch, next minute she's Rico Nasty. Like, I'm going to let her figure herself out and then we're going, you know. Sure. I mean, that's facts. I mean, and, and now that you're saying that, I do remember yep. you kind of popped off a little bit before she did. You know what I mean? But it got similar to where 
y'all both sound was like kid friendly, pop, you know. Kid friendly. No, what I mean by like kid friendly is like, what I mean by like kid friendly is like you can perform your music at like pet rallies and shit like that. I'm not saying you. I you mean, soft at all. her dip dip freestyle was like her pretending to be a, like a sex slave or kidnapping a nigga to be a sex slave. She's not for the kids. She's a lost cause. I want to ask like ask you questions about me though because that shit is pathetic. Like she's she's not moving. Like she's just in the same spot she's been in this whole time. Just trying to like keep up, like barely keep up. Like I just imagine like a drowning chihuahua. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> you went to jail. I don't know what happened after that. I thought that would like really boost her shit, but. Given the fact that Rico was an actual DMV artist from Maryland, she used that to her advantage in her and Bally's beef. Fans started to choose a side while some straddled the fence. Rico even collaborated with Bally Baby's nemesis, Asian Doll, months after her and Asian Doll had a public brawl. After Rico and Asian Doll dropped Amigos, that amped up Bally to drop her infamous diss track aimed at Rico, Enemies. Enemies dropped just one week after Amigos. Bally called out Rico for stealing her flow, collabing with Ops, and using her for fame. Enemies, not on my level, so they just pretend to be. Me and the music have really great chemistry. Presidential, but won't end up like Kennedy. Second dick, so she is hoeing mentally. Crossed over, little bitch, that's a penalty. Yeah, where your identity? Little bitch, yeah, you is just a parrot. Hating. Want the recipe, you plankton. All this ice, bitch, I'm skating. All that talking, bitch, you fake. Head of the line like I'm playing. She shooting shit, but she grazing. She dried up like a raisin. And I fuck with Rico. If you know me, then you know I fuck with Rico. But this song was hard. She dissed her on her own beat. But it wasn't enough because Rico came back even harder and emptied the clip with pop. Watch how I move, trying to study all the tools. But you can't, you a lame. I can tell your pussy stank. This was the first song fans heard Rico noticeably change her flow from her original sugar trap sound. This was the song that put Rico Nasty on the map. Not too long after poppin', Rico dropped Key Lime OG with her new official sound. Even though her flow changed drastically, her style appeared to be of a more advanced version of Bally's. If Rico's success wasn't enough to dim Bally's support in the DMV, this live that she went on to post really finished her as far as having DMV support. The DMV really put Bally Baby on, and for her to go on live and disrespect and basically bite the hand that feeds her was her biggest downfall when it comes to music. Some may say Bally Baby went out sad, that she used the DMV, and that she was a clout chaser and somewhat of a culture vulture, but honestly, Bally Baby influenced an entire breed of female rappers. And regardless of how you feel about who she had beef with and what she said or who she disrespected, Bally Baby honestly deserves her flowers and opened doors for a few female MCs who may be one of your favorites. Like it or not, Bally Baby has helped develop the art form and shape female trap rap in the DMV and all over.